In this video, we will customize the tooltip as you can see, but we will not use the basic structure that I usually tend to do. In this case, we have a limitation and we have to use or create the tooltip adjustment outside of the original options block or options section. So let's start to explore how we can solve this issue. In this video, we'll focus on one of the viewer's questions, which is a more specific question regarding to the following. How to modify tooltip labels from the from outside of the options object in Chart.js. All right, this question came on this video about how to add a second y-axis in Chart.js. And here, Dotsia Daras, a special thank you to Dotsia for asking this question. And this is what Dotsia was asking. Thank you for the video. I've got another question. How can I modify tooltip labels from outside of the options object? At present, I've got something along the line of options. And then you can see here a chunk of code. All right, we're going to work with this code. And then the following that Dotsia was saying, but due to the specifics of the project, I need a way to specify the labels from outside options. Many thanks. All right. Let's start to explore this. What we're going to do is, and what, it, what I suggest you to do as well, is to copy this chunk of code. We'll be using this code as a, as a exercise and make that work first in Chart.js. All right, so what we need to do here is go to chartjs3.com, uh, getting started, and then in here you have this chunk of code. Just copy this chunk of code here, and if you want to understand what this does, please check out the video here matching it with it. All right. I'm going to paste this in here and once I paste that I'm going to cut out this specific title put it in here so I know my video title save that and then before we even reload or refresh we're going to cut out this I want to put this here somewhere between later on we're going to put it here in the options because I want to make it work first before we move on to something outside of it. So if I save that now, refresh, we get this. Oh, I need to make sure that this is coming out. Refresh now, there we are. So you can see here we have a bar chart. Now what we want to do here in the options, I want to put in the tooltip first. So let's get this working first before we even work from outside of the options, all right? So what we're going to do here is, this is a nice exercise as well. We're going to say here, plugins. And in here, the plugins, we can just cut out this, paste that in there, and comment out. All right, just make it a bit nice. You can see here there's uh, sync quotations. I'm going to remove them, but the reason why the sync quotations are in there is probably this is a JSON object. Uh, call back, sorry. And then here, same, sorry. I want to remove this here and just see what we have here right now. So we have this. And uh, let's see, do we have it all? All right, so that's proper. Save that, refresh. Now if I hover over, you can see here, it doesn't work because it creates some errors here. And the reason why the errors are here is probably we are missing some settings or we need to adjust a few things. So let's look at what is going on here and or at least what I would first adjust. I would say here, constant, remove var, var or let, oh, sorry, constant or let instead of var. That is more common now these days. Next, we have this here. This is fine. This is all fine here. But this here will conflict with whatever is here. So what I say here, DP, just make this data data point or just give it a value, or a DP, not DB, sorry, data point value. So you know it's from the data point. We want to extract the data point. And then here probably just get the percentage value. So I'm going to adjust that. Here we have a total. This total is probably matched with the data set value of here. So to make it more easier, I'm going to copy this. We put it here somewhere up. We say here just a very straightforward constant. And then here total equals this value here, the total amount of this. So if I look at this, this is here 18 plus 12 is 30. And then I can see here. 9 plus 9 is 18 and 12, so that's 30 again, so that's 60. And then we have 6 and 3, which makes it uh, 69, all right? That's the total value. So I'm going to grab this one. Of course, I would highly recommend you to use a JavaScript function here just to, to make it a nicely uh, automatic 
automatically calculated so it's automated all right so what I'm going to say here this total now is done then we have this part here so what I would suggest here is this could be more neater because basically here we have concatenation which is all right probably because this is a object as well uh, sorry this is a JSON this is JSON as well but I would do it like this if we would type it we'll say the following we're going to use uh, backticks and backticks would mean we're going to use here template literals so backticks if you wonder where they are on your keyboard just below the escape if I'm not mistaken all right and then we say here dollar sign and then we get in here the value we're just going to get this value and basically here it concatenates it concatenates the column and the space because we are using template literals we can just do column and space here and that's it and then it says here the next value here is comma value with this comma here probably because this is as well a, a json object and probably this is another part of the json so we just ignore this comma and we just get this value here dollar sign value and then it wants the plus it will concatenate space dollar so probably it's like a dollar value i'll just put it in here in the front it depends on probably where you are uh, in which country that the, the the standard is front or back so it doesn't matter so much so just look what's more appropriate for you the next one is the percentage value same here dollar sign percentage and then we say here percentage there we are so once we have that percentage symbol here then we can remove this and save this to double check if our code is working all right so we have here the following so thursday dollar sign undefined 13 percent so what is going on right now is we're missing this value here or as you can see this was our official value name so save that now and now we have it working all right there we are so we have this and maybe we'll put a comma there between the 18 dollar and this i will just put like that and then if we see this there you are that looks nice friday 12 dollars and 17.4 percent so what i want to do now is one we have this working so this is a confirmation that this is fine what we need to do now is we're going to put it outside so we're not allowed to use it for some reason it might be that you have no access to the specific part so we're going to uh, get here this plugin part I'm going to cut this all out I'm going to put it here below or not even here below I need to put it more down below you got to work from here all right this here will be our guidelines but we need to comment this out but we will use uh, segments of it so what we're going to do here and this is this trick will work and let me explain here why you put it in the options normally if you put something in the options you're customizing the chart so what I'm going to do now is instead of customizing the chart I will say what I'm going to do here is basically create a uh, default chart object that will not customize the chart but this will be set as a default so if you have two charts in charge yes here on the same page this default will uh, conflict or might conflict or it will apply also on that chart very important to understand this this is why you do here in the options to customize it to overrule default settings all right that's very important to understand so now what we're going to do here is basically this we're going into chart js and we go here to general and then oh nothing new in general we go to configurations and in the configuration you can see your global configuration options and basically what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to apply use uh, um, the configuration is used to change how the chart behaves all right but this is a default setting so it will be always applied on every chart so what we're going to do here is we say your chart with capital C let me say default and then what we need is basically the plugin we're going to pinpoint now the tooltip so we say plugins dot tooltip and then in here we could do something so let's let's say here right now if you have this we have these values here but i would like to have this nice tooltip on the very top so the cloud should be top and the carrot should point down oh let's make one first so we say here tooltip and i say y align that's specifically on the line and there's an equal bottom if I save this now and refresh, you can see now, even without touching the option specifically, we are now touching the default setting. It's always at the bottom. All right. 
So this is one of them. So now let's go here and do some more. So I'm going to copy everything here again, but this time I'm going to focus on the callbacks. So we say you dot callbacks. And in this callbacks, we're going to pinpoint what exactly? The label part. So we need, we need to say here dot label, and then this equals, and here, well, we can just write our function, or we could write it here, doesn't matter. So we say your function, we can just copy all of this here. And basically here, we can copy everything that we have here, all this, these values as well. Solve that, or remove it, uncomment, so that it will be visible again. Uh, let's see, there we are, we need this, we need that, we need that. So proper indentations, of course, there we are. So now we have this here. We have removed it from the tool. If we save this now and refresh, you can see now we have overruled the default setting with our own personal default setting. And this is basically it. And this is the way how you can customize it. Or basically you don't customize it, you're going to set it as a standard. Basically this is a standard and if you will want to customize it, you have to in the options. So if you would have another chart in here, and this is very important, and you don't want this in your other chart, you will have to, to use the, cup, uh, uh, the customized options here. So you need to really pinpoint it in the options to overrule default settings. Very important to, to understand this. So I hope you understand the differences here. And basically this is the answer to your question. And if you're maybe interested in going more deeper or giving even the tooltip more, interesting effects i would highly recommend you to check out this one how to add a custom annotation line on hoover in charge.js where we are creating lines in here the moment we hoover on them which looks quite fascinating as well and it's a nice uh, add-on for your tooltip